Hi there, I wanna first thank you for taking the time to check out this demo. I know you're gonna be pretty excited about how easy it is for you to jump on board into the QuickList backend and set up your very own interactive digital checklist within the next minute, if that. So let's go ahead and see how fast I can do it. So here we are, you can see this is the login screen. You're gonna get login credentials via your email address. So be sure to check that out and whitelist any emails that you get from QuickList for Oz or Carl Sugar. So I'm logging in here now. And here's the dashboard. This is where you're gonna be able to see all of your current quick list that you have currently set up, okay? So let's just go ahead and set one up real quickly. Now right here, you get 10 done for you quick lists that are gonna be loaded into your account as soon as you sign up. So all you're gonna to have to do for any of these ones, let's say I wanted to pick one of these ones. Let's see here, the expert guide to your first profitable digital product. That sounds pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and put that one into my account. Boom, that is in my account already, okay? Here it is right here, it's in my account. I can edit it as well. But before I do, I wanna tell you what's on the left-hand side on the navigation bar here. So you have all of your checklists, which is your dashboard. You have your integrations. You have your staff members, if you have that. You have your WordPress plugin. You have your help and support. You'll also have access to your account information. And then here's where you can log in. Now there might actually be one more button on here which will take you to the inside of your course that you're going to get included with this investment. I will mention though that depending on when you came in, it will depend on when you see this in your account because it's part of our webinar series. So you're going to want to make sure that you show up to those because they're going to be packed full of value. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of things. First, I want to show you the integrations. Now under integrations, you can put multiple integrations even with the same autoresponder or messenger service. So I'm gonna go here to add new integration. I'm gonna just put test. And really it's only to show you the different integrations that we currently have. Now we have more coming, but at the time of this video, you can see we've got Aweber, Active Campaign, Constant Contact, Get Response, Eye Contact, MailChimp, SendLane, ConvertKit, Drip, MailerLite, email octopus for webinar service. We have Demio, we also have a few more coming. You'll see them actually on the page. And then you can also integrate with these other integrations, Facebook Pixel, Segmate, Google Tag Manager, and other third-party analytic services. And also we're open to any others that you might know about. So I'm gonna hit cancel. That's how you would add that there, okay? If you wanna add the WordPress plugin, you would just click here and you'd be able to download that WordPress plugin right here. And basically this is going to allow you to press these onto your WordPress pages. But I'm gonna show you that there's also other ways that you can do this with or without WordPress. We actually take care of the hosting for you. So if you look on the bottom right hand side, this is the new one that we have. We've got edit, leads, publish. So let's go to the editor real quickly. I wanna show you this. Now on the editor, it takes me directly to the checklist. And you can see on the top here, you've got landing page, opt-in forms, checklist. I can come in here and see what this is gonna look like on different views. So that way it's optimized for mobile. And also I can come in here and I can edit each of these. So I can come here and edit the name of that section. And on this section here, I can open this section up. I can go ahead and edit this section. And I can add video in this section as well. So I would just click wherever I wanted the video and I would add the embedded video URL. So if you're using like YouTube or Vimeo, they give you an embedded URL that you could save and stick there. So I'm gonna hit cancel. You can do the same thing up here. I'll show you that in a minute. This basically shows you if you wanna make any changes, if you wanna make any changes up here as well, okay? So here I can add sections. On here I can go to save settings. So this will be the main title, okay? And also you'll see headline, subheadline and I can add a video there as well. I can make some changes to my opt-in form, okay? Here I can add a, a little arrow or something like that. Up here I can add hyperlink, I can, no reason to do that. You can have your supported docs, that kind of stuff here as well, and you can change your button copy. On here you can change all the colors of your the whole thing, okay? And I'll show you that in a minute. Here we'll show you your integrations that you want to connect to. Here is your footer links, so you can add your own privacy policies and terms of conditions, and you can add more here. And then here is your opt-in form. So like I said, if you wanna come back here and do some edits to the opt-in form, you can. And then the next thing is your landing page. 
Now on the landing pages, you have different types. You can turn the logo on or off. I can go to these templates and I can look up the different template types here, okay? And I could choose which template type that I want to use. So currently it's showing this one, but if I wanted to change it to say this one, I would hit yes, and then it'll go ahead and change to that template. And then I can mess with the settings of each thing. So if this was just, if I wanted to change this ebook cover, I can change it there. Here I can actually write my copy here, okay? And that's where that would go. And then I can also edit the background color and then I can also edit my button, okay? And I can edit my visibility if it's an option to hit save and now that is gonna be saved there, okay? And that's it, so then I can come back here and I'm gonna show you one last thing. This is literally set up and ready to rock and go. So at this point, I can come here to publish. I can also look to see which leads I've brought in from there and I can download them via CSV file. But if I didn't wanna do that, I could just go to publish. I can figure out which kind of way I wanna host this. If I want us, if you want us to host it, just click on there. Just click on that. And then there's my page. If I click on here, here's my opt-in form. I can just fill this out real quickly. And then here is now my, my checklist. And you can see as the checklist, you go through these checklists and you can read each part. People absolutely love these checklists, but I wanna make a point that what happened here is now this checklist is now cookied for the last thing that I've done. And it's gonna remember, so it's interactive and digital. And so I can come back to where I was at. So if I was doing a training course and I wanted to give people like a checklist or something like that, or if I had a checklist for whatever, any niche, to build that checklist out and now people are going to remember where they're at so if i have to come back here see it's going to remember exactly where i was okay pretty nifty okay really really easy now i also want to show you if you want to host on your own landing page you can do it this way you would just copy this trigger to trigger out an opt-in form on a button and then you would just paste this code in your body tag you can also download the HTML and upload it if you're not using a WordPress or something like that. You can go directly to the WordPress option or you can embed anywhere. So any website builder, you know, page builder that you pretty much can use this in on anything. And we've tested it on a lot of different builders and it's worked great. So that'll allow you to do it just like that, okay? And that's really about it. So you, as you can see, it's pretty simple to run through this. Now, I, I was a little bit more thorough because I wanted to make sure that you fully understood, but I do want to thank you for your time again. Hope you do take this up. You're going to absolutely love it, and it's super easy to use just like I showed you, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the inside.